This video is sponsored by Dubia.com. Get 15% off your feeder bugs with code GOHERPING. Welcome back to rating your reptile stuff, your enclosures, your rooms, the reptiles themselves, whatever you post on Instagram with hashtag Garping Review. Don't DM them to me. Don't email them to me. Don't send them to my PO box. Open the app, click post, and add hashtag Garping Review. That's how you gotta do. And I might show it in a video and give my opinions on it, starting with a dark frog enclosure, which by the way, this is number 14. This is the 14th review video. And it's pretty crazy how much variety there's been in the 13. I was going to stop it after like five episodes, but I was like, you know what? I'll do a six. And we had a lot of unique stuff. So then I was going to stop it at 10. And I was like, you know what? There's probably more interesting stuff. And now we're on 14 and it's still really diverse. Like we haven't even seen many dart frogs. And at this point, I don't plan on stopping the series. So uh, yeah, you know what? Because it's a dart frog, it's something different. It's kind of cool. I, I like what I can see. I'm gonna give it four stars to start us off. Got a bearded dragon, believe it or not, in case you couldn't tell. It looks more unique, but then again, it's also pretty similar to other enclosures. It's why well, I have this habit of like prematurely giving my opinion on an enclosure and then looking at it for another minute and then being like, actually, my opinion is the exact opposite. And then regretting what I said, because at first I kind of liked this and then I looked at it more and I didn't like it. And then I looked at it more and I kind of like it again. Like, it's got the reptile carpet, which a lot of people say you shouldn't use ever. I think as long as you clean it, it's fine. I just hate cleaning it. It's such a pain. Like, I'd rather just do paper towel. It looks a little bit worse, but you know what? I'm lazy sometimes, okay? But overall, it's clean, and it doesn't look that bad. Also, I don't like the backgrounds, but then again, who cares? Doesn't matter. I like the foreground, though. It's got foreground and a background uh, with the fake plants. I can't use fake plants comfortably in beauty enclosures simply because... I oftentimes have them try and eat it, but if your baby doesn't eat fake plants, good for you. You can use them. I'm kind of jealous, actually. It's all right. It's it's fine. I, I'm going to give it 3.5 because it's it's fine overall. Got a leopard gecko, a blurry leopard gecko on. This just looks like straight dirt, like just like topsoil from a backyard. But let's look through the pictures, shall we? I guess that's cocoa fiber. Very dry cocoa fiber. <laughs> another <laughs> every picture's out of focus okay <laughs> i'm not a fan maybe other people are maybe zig the leopard gecko is a fan but i don't know the, the dry cocoa fiber the <laughs> it's good that you're giving him multiple hiding places but this one doesn't even really hide like it's not even really covered i like this hide i think it's fine <sighs> i'm not a fan and i don't even feel like getting into it oh, we're just gonna give it two mm -hmm. stars and move on <laughs> Now we're onto a bearded dragon enclosure. I can't tell what brand this enclosure is. Um, it looks interesting. I'm kind of curious, actually. Maybe I should read the captions for once and see if they said. But they did not say. <laughs> we got like actual, like, you know, there's wood chips like cypress mulch, uh, repta bark, whatever it's called, repta chips. But then there's just, this is just like actual wood chips. Like you just took some two by fours and started cutting it up. But. And then like weird, this looks like sand and rocks, like the worst of both worlds. And the beardy? The beardy looks okay, I get. Oh, maybe I'm overthinking, but I feel like, like look at his tail right here. It looks deformed to me. Now they said they've had a few, three weeks. So that'd be kind of fast to develop. Maybe it was like this beforehand, but it looks to me like it's starting to develop some growth issues already, which is pretty common with beardies, kind of sucks, but it happens. <laughs> Uh, I personally would throw everything away and start over, but okay, not the enclosure. You know what? Keep the lights, whatever. Keep the heat lit. I don't know any of the details of this enclosure. I would, I, I'm going to give it two stars. That's what I'm trying to say. Our reptile room. It's a pretty big room. Very clean carpet. Nice. Clean carpet's always a plus. I used to use these shelves. They were such a pain, though, to put together. They'd always fall apart. I kept moving so often. You don't need a tangent about this. Basically, I don't really like these shelves that much anymore. But I actually like how this looks. And it's not like over... I feel like people just see empty space in the room, and I'm like, well, i got to fill it with a reptile. But you can have some empty space in a room. I think it makes it more breathable, easier to be in. And overall, I like it. It's clean. It's simple. It's nothing special or flashy, but I'm going to give it... Well, I'm gonna give it three, but I like it. There's just a lot of competition. <laughs> I gotta do minerals boa, something we don't see every day. Um, there's been very few minerals boas in the review series. Pretty cool enclosure. I, I like the background a lot. I like the uh, stalag tights. 
are the ones that come from above stalagmites i don't know it's like a i don't know it's like a cool cave thing i like the moss i like everything about it it seems a little small but maybe not my question is if there's actual like hiding places because i mean i kind of feel like every snake should have hiding places i like how this looks though and oh there's another oh that looks pretty good too it's not how i would set up a leopard gecko but these are these are nice it looks like it's all custom made even the cabinets custom overall i'm gonna give it four stars even if it's not how i would do things they look cool though uh we got okay what is it? i'm guessing it's like a turtle tortoise table i mean there's a turtle right there this is cool it looks like it's like under a stairwell as as well a lot of people of course just use aquariums and stuff but depending on humidity and everything uh, i think tortoise tables are something a lot of people forget is an option and i i really like how this looks overall it's very kind of rugged looking i even like this you know what? it all goes together quite well i can't see the animal i kind of wish there were more pictures but i like it enough to give it four stars so before we move on go check on your feeder bugs real quick what'd you say you need more well lucky for you the sponsor of this video has got you covered because dubia.com's got roaches hornworms fruit flies soldier fly larvae superworms and millworms waxworms and a bunch of other juicy buggos when i first started buying from dubia.com in 2016 they had just a few buildings but have since grown to six warehouses up to 40,000 square feet each it's the bugs from these locations that i fed to hundreds of reptiles over the past six years to keep them happy healthy and growing. And Dubia.com's service has only improved as they've expanded. So whether you just need a few bugs for your little gecko or a few thousand for your whole collection, you'll explore their inventory. And once you place an order, you can expect bugs on your doorstep within just a few days. And if you use code GOHERPING, you can get 15% off your entire order. And if you want, you can actually save even more by subscribing for repeat delivery on your bugs. I like giving my animals a variety of insects throughout the week, so a staple of dubias, and then bugs like hornworms and black soldier fly larvae sprinkled in throughout. And they actually price match, so you can be certain you're getting the best bang for your buck. So thank you to dubia.com. I really appreciate that they sponsored the video and are offering 15% off. That's, pretty, that's a dang good deal. It's more than I thought they would do with code GOHERPING at checkout. And now, back to your enclosures. Oh, oh, we got even bigger is this an entire room what is this got tegus we might have seen these tegus before according to someone who probably just told me to just trust them because they're the source apparently you can actually cohab tegus which i didn't know i mean i've never really thought about it because i try to always just keep one at a time at most but of all of the lizards out there that people keep i would not guess tegus are one that can be cohabbed like they don't i don't know but it's it's cool also i really like this enclosure it's huge is this uh it looks like it's tin foil this looks like an entire room it's impressive though i like the look it literally just looks like you took a chunk of outside and shoved it inside and i'm gonna give it five stars even though i'm confused about the cohabbing but i'm definitely not a tegu expert so don't hold me to that got a video with more tin foils, big or this is like that tin foil tape. I think that's uh, air duct tape, whatever it's called. <laughs> Can it even breathe? There's like no. <laughs> Where's the ventilation? That you know, people do this for humidity, but usually you leave like a chunk for you know for air to go in and out. Pretty cool inside. Uh, it's a ball python. I think it looks quite nice. Got lots of hiding spaces. You got the clutter. I like the colors from the leaves. Um, <laughs> I think it's, oh, I like your living room as well. Just, just gonna throw that in there. I, I think it's really interesting how many people, like I, the first time I saw someone put a security camera in their reptile enclosure, I was like, that's so unnecessary and pointless. But now I see it so often. I'm actually, it's growing on me. It's, it's pretty neat. I know people do it with dogs and cats and stuff, but I'm sure it's easier with a reptile because you can just get their whole tank in view. Overall, I think it's cool. It's, you know what? It's four stars. It's, yeah. It's four stars. <laughs> what is this? Oh, it's a frog. <laughs> it looks like he's not very <laughs> happy. It doesn't look like he wants to high five. It looks like he wants to get out. <laughs> it's a 10 gallon uh, and apparently they're going to get a taller enclosure i can't there's so many water stains i know water stains don't matter but uh it's, it's hard to see the pictures i just think this is kind of funny so thank you for sharing herps are derps newly completed turtle enclosures twin 65 gallon tanks with custom basking 
I like seeing uh, all the different ways people give their... Why are these turtles in the exact same position? It's like you just took a picture and then photoshopped it and copied it. They're so identical. That's funny. Uh, I like seeing all the different ways people make turtle like hiding things. There's been some really cool ways that people do it because ideally your turtles are going to have a lot of, I mean, if it's semi-aquatic, it's mostly going to have tons of water to, you know, swim around and stuff. It's important that it's deep. So if they flip upside down, they can flip themselves back over and you don't want them to just have to swim in a circle in a bowl. But at the same time, a lot of people will just do this little like basking spot, which is like this big and the turtle can get dry, but they can't move. So uh, there's a lot of creative ways that you can see people actually give them space to uh, hang around. One is called Franklin as well. I'm curious, I mean, most of the time, I think it's best to not cohab sliders, especially if it's male-female, you might not want them breeding. Male-male, they might not get along. But I think it's actually rare to see people separate them also to this extent. It just, you know what? It makes me kind of happy to see actually good turtle care sometimes. It's rare, especially for the aquatic turtles. It's so hard to find people to take them with adequate setups. Most people ultimately just don't even have the space because this is taking up a big chunk of their house, but I like it. It's five stars. Vibing together. Can you cohab Bleachianus geckos? I don't know much about cohabitation, do I? <laughs> At least I don't do it, I guess. They're so ugly. Why do people like these? 1.5 stars because I am in such a good mood that I'm not giving them one star. Well, something different. I don't know if we've had hermit crabs. We probably have. A few times I've actually reviewed the same enclosures and didn't notice. And a few people noticed, but not many. I don't think we've had hermit crabs, but I'm probably wrong. I had hermit crabs. I was like five. I bet you'd all love to see the care. I got so angry one time it pinched my finger and I started crying. Not even because it hurt, I just felt betrayed. I don't know anything about hermit crabs though. They look better than mine did, so I'm gonna give it four <gasps> stars. <laughs> Updated reptile room, I recognize these dolls anywhere. Uh, oh, what episode was this? I'm actually curious. This was the, th okay, it was the thumbnail of episode seven, exactly uh, half the episodes ago. That's cool. Uh, it was called Raiding Your Terrifying Reptile Room. So these are some daylight pictures. So let's check it out. Still not a minimalist, they say. They've got inverts, not inverts, vert, wait, verts? Is that what you call them if they're not inverts? <laughs> Has the dog collection grown? I can't tell. Um, there's quite a lot happening in this room. It's a dang good looking dog collection. I've, <laughs> oh my God, I think I remember this too. I can't remember anything ever, period, but I can definitely remember this doll haunting me from the other, <laughs> the other video. It's a cool room. Do I want this room? No, but I really like looking at this room and I actually think it's a cool collection. I like seeing unique collections. There's nothing wrong with collecting the same thing everyone else does. Like we see Funko, Funko Pops in like every video. Who cares? Get your Funko Pops, but we don't see kind of creepy dolls. So I can't remember what rating I gave it last time, but I like seeing it. I also really like getting updates. So it's going to be another five star. This, uh, these are some high ratings in this video. Are they actually good or am I just in a good mood? Unusually good mood. I don't know. We got Maliki chilling in his hammock. And the one time I try to read the caption and I can't read it. Oh, it's a corn snake back there. I would not have guessed this was for a corn snake. This is really, I think it's partially per, the perspective of the pictures, but this is very cool looking. It looks super uh, deep. I'm curious how big it is. I like it. The variety of plants is quite cool. You got um, lots of air plants, I think they're called. This is neat. It seems kind of like a pain to deal with a corn snake in here, but I could be wrong. It's unique and I'll give it, I don't know why I'm giving it fewer stars than this since I didn't even look at the enclosures, but I'm giving it four stars. Don't question the process. It's perfect. It's a perfect system, everyone. Got a Pac-Man frog. Uh, I mostly just like this picture. This alone is a three star picture. You know what? It's a four star picture. Wow. These are phenomenal posts, everyone. We got a beardy named Sammy. Sammy, are you okay? I think it's fine. Let's keep going through. What is that? Is that a ferret? It is Tobias the ferret. It looks like a small person in a suit. That is not a ferret. Ferret. It is. It's ferret. Wow. I'm sure none of you believed him either that it was a ferret, but look at that. It's a ferret. Great. Thank you for sharing. <laughs> Got a leopard gecko enclosure. That's not what I would have guessed. All right. How big is this? Is that, it looks like, um, cor what's it called? Cork, cork walls? Got the, oh, actually they, they used like the cork and made 
That's interesting. So we've seen, I think most people make them out of, what do people make them out of? I mean, I use like expanding foam. I've seen people, I guess, use plaster. Uh, cork is a new one. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's not, again, it's not the style I like, but it's pretty cool and it's huge. You know what? I approve of this. Uh, it's cool. It's so big for a leopard gecko. I'll give it, I'll give it four stars. My work in progress for a veiled chameleon. That is an ugly green wall. No one can say anything about this green wall. This is, compared to that green, this is a nice green. Do I still regret this green? Yes, but I'm going to live with it because life is green. I had an inspirational quote in mind, but I lost it. Uh, uh, I guess once this grows up, it'll be kind of a cool chameleon enclosure. Uh, right now it looks a little bit bare. Is that a real bird? Up there, it is. It's an actual bird. How about that? I never knew real birds existed. I mean, I can't comment on how it is right now. It's, I want to see a, an, an updated picture with the chameleons. Actually, maybe there is one. There are no updated pictures. Uh, stars pending until I see more. No caption is the best caption because I don't have to be pressured to read it. Got a crusty. I like that background. It's that, uh, it's like that Home Depot laminate or like vinyl tile stuff. Oh, look at that. This looks pretty good. It look, oh, it's a, like a dual enclosure as well. I like these. Huh. It's it's quite aesthetically pleasing. I think it's cool. I like the black as well. It definitely looks better, of course, when the doors are open, but even closed. Uh, this is a good looking enclosure. Is it, I wonder if it's custom. It must be all custom. It looks really nice. I'll give it 4.5. It's cool. Oh, well, and then there's this. The square bottle exploded and got gecko soup everywhere. Oh. <laughs> I have had this happen because uh, it was left out just like in the warm room and gas, heat, expands, physics, chemistry. I don't know, whatever. I didn't take either of those, but I guess they didn't either. <laughs> great, great to see. Thank you. And finally, we'll check out, uh, I think, so it's a leopard gecko enclosure fit with their female leopard gecko. I think this is excavator clay. That's what it is. I've made a few videos about excavator clay. It's pretty cool. It, it like molds when it's wet. And then when it dries, it turns into, well, you can see what it turns into. It turns into this. It's, oh, wait, this is a, wait, what? Oh, it was a time lapse, but in reverse. I would say one downside is you can make super cool hides. They even supply, I don't know why I'm like selling you excavator clay, but they sell you balloons that you can like excavate around and then you pop the balloon uh, once it's dry. I, I like how this looks. It's just, it's, it's such a pain to deal with those little bits. Like, especially if your leopard gecko turns one of these into a, uh, like their poop corner, that's not going to be fun. I like this though. It looks like that might be their, yeah, that's the humid hide. That looks good. Now, granted, it might not stay. It looks like it stayed. You know what? I like this. It's interesting how many people give UVB to their leopard geckos, but... Most of the time, I wouldn't do it with albino leopard geckos, but with a, with a normal, it's probably fine. Then again, I think it was an albino. Let's see. Uh, it's a Trump, I think it's a Trumper albino leopard gecko. I would take off the EVV, honestly, but I'm sure people would disagree. I, I like the, how this came out. And just because I'm in such a dang good mood, I'm going to give it five stars, which granted some of these are a little bit cooler, but I'm still going to give it five. I like it. It's unique. And this was a, a pretty cool episode, I think. Lots of variety today. But that'll be it for episode 14 of Raiding Air Reptile Stuff. This might be the longest going series, and it's thanks to those of you who post. Not DM me, not send it to my PO box, not email me, who post it on Instagram. The app called I-N-G-I-S-T-R-E-M dot <laughs> The hashtag go herping review. Also, can you follow me? Most of you, let's see if Leprechek is following me. Oh wait, I'm not logged in to my account. But they're not. They're following zero people. Wow. Frick you, leopard geck. <laughs> Follow me at go into Scorpion as well, if you want. I don't actually really post that much. And thanks again to doobie.com for sponsoring the video. They've got so many bugs at some pretty dang good prices. So if you haven't already, go check them out. Or if you have already, just go get more bugs. Why not? I mean, it's not like they're not going to be fed to your reptiles. So you can stock up with code GOHERPING for 15% off your order. So that'll be it for this video. You can check out the others in the description. And thanks for watching, I'm Alex.